Good afternoon, everyone. This is Shane and Happy Chef. So today I'm going to show you how to make a body bar. This is an old body bar, and my my new bench press. I put too much weight on it, so I broke it. So this is no good anymore. I'm going to show you how to make a. a new. Okay, so the equipment that you're going to need is basically a, a piece of a PVC pipe. Design says hi. So this is one, uh, one and a quarter. And you need two end caps. No. You need some uh, PVC glue, some paint. Uh, I got black, you can get whatever color that you want. But this is the kind that sticks to plastic. It's only like uh, 97 cents or, or three bucks. Some gloves, some pipe cutters, if you have to cut the pipe yourself. And some quick concrete in the place to mix that. So now what we're going to do is cut our PVC pipe. You have to remember that this eye screw has about two inches that are going in. Now it's probably not going to reach this uh, this rebar, but just in case, I'm giving it an extra two inches on on each side. Okay. So after this, our next step is going to be to sandpaper everything to make sure it's smooth, and we'll show you that in the next step. All right. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to you're kind of doing this in reverse. So you want to sand it so when you finally do paint it, it'll actually stick. So the next thing that you want to do is you're going to take your PVC pipe and you're going to wrap it in saran wrap. The reason that we're going to do that is because we're going to be pouring concrete down the middle of it and you don't want it to get on the surface because it is very difficult to get off once, once that happens. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to drill the uh, end cap so that we can put the, uh, the eye screw in there. Okay, so that's it. So the next step will be to go ahead and spray paint this black and then we'll go ahead and uh, insert it into the, into the eye hole. Thanks a lot. Alright, so now what we're going to do is spray paint the end caps black that we've already uh, pre-drilled. Okay, so you can see, got those installed. Alright, now it's time to pour some kind of, put the plastic over the rebar, so you should be able to see it in there. Now this is just uh, some cardstock that's about two inches in length, and I'm going to put it in the end down here. So that when we start filling it up with concrete, it'll maintain the uh, position of where the, the eye hole will go. So that's about two inches there. Okay, Okay. so we're going to go ahead and mix the concrete. All you have to do is read the bag. So I'm using about a half bag. So. Well, that you see is the concrete. Kind of looks like poop. You know what? I can do that and just put it on the ground. Hold on. You need so, your phone. Or if you want, you could use a funnel like this. Just pack it down. Don't show that. What? Didn't look right? No. Okay. Uh -oh. Sorry, honey. No dress. <laughs> I didn't get it on it. No, dress. you didn't get it on it. Just, just my feet. Go ahead and take over, Mama. Go study for your test. You need a funnel. No, this is working easier. As long as you have okay. Once it starts getting near the top, what you want to do is kind of shake it, make sure that. It uh, gets compacted in here, and you're trying to get rid of any uh, air in between there. So what I'll do in a second is just kind of tap it down. Okay, so all I'm doing now is making sure that the end is dry, and then we're going to put on our the uh, purple primer.
Now we're gonna put the glue on. And remember, this is at the end that has the, that's the most compacted, okay? You're gonna stick it on, give it a half turn. Okay, now I'm gonna leave a little bit of room in here, maybe about an inch, just in case it starts to expand. But you shouldn't. Get off this end. Put on the other end cap. Half turn. Okay, so that's what the bar looks like just before we paint it. So you can see the, uh, the eyelets in the top. Now we're just going to go ahead and spray paint the rest of it.